Now I'm live. Now I'm live from my mask. It's Fun University. Not to be confused with Saturday Night Live, because it's Tuesday night. Anyway, whoops, Mr. Mike, come on over. Don't be shy. Come on, buddy. This is Fun University 118, where we are going to talk about some parameters from Craft Roulette, our sister YouTube channel, which is the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge that happens every Friday night at 6.30. This one happens every Tuesday night at 6.30. Nice to see you guys all in there. We're um, kind of cutting it close to... <laughs> I, I threw in a load of laundry and suddenly it was 6.30. So here we are. We're good. Um, we're going to talk about... Uh, let's introduce this show, shall we? Let's do that. Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, I'm Mary Gunn of Mary Gunn, Fun Founder and Head Professor of Fun University 118. And you are intrepid hostess of Craft Roulette, where we get the parameters to talk about what we're going to talk about here. Um, if you've never watched... Craft roulette. What the heck are you waiting for? It's a lot of fun. We have. If you like card making and you don't know what, and you uh, are pretty sure that the people on there may make a mistake, but they may just absolutely blow your mind. And if you like seeing other people's beautiful cards, that's where you need to be. We will be there this Friday with Sandy Boone and her very very nice 1.65 percent husband Travis. So join us then. But we've got something to do here first because. Last Friday night, last Friday night, as you will recall, we had a, another duo on. We had a, Abby, and uh, I'm giving her first billing. We had Lauren and her daughter, Abby Taylor, on for the show. And it was a lot of fun, but I, I saw a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is one parameter we have. You can go back on the craftroulette.live website and learn how we do this, or go to a show or whatever you want to do. But um, we have one parameter that keeps getting <sighs> no respect. It's purse cards. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you what. And there are so many gazillion ways you can make a purse card. I'm not going to do a whole lot of them tonight, but I do want to show you a couple just so that you don't worry. <laughs> if we get purse cards, I know, Ella, it's, purse cards are great fun. Um, we are going to, I have three to show you tonight, and I think, I think it'll make you sleep better. <laughs> That's really what we want. We are going to talk about, let's see, ha housekeeping, what do we have? This is the last week for the 15% discount for the June Spin Sponsor Pear Blossom Press. Use the code CR15. There is an affiliate link in the description. It's a great deal. We're going to show uh, some of the cards that we've made with her lights. Amanda is a wonderful, wonderful spin. Whoa, man, did we ever get lucky to have her for our first spin sponsor. <laughs> it's been great. Um, I will be announcing, Tell, remind me, oh, I'll just tell you now, who our spin sponsors are for July. Um, spin sponsors are people that, companies that donate gift certificates to our viewers who have sent in a card the week before. We are not sponsored. We um, only are sponsored by our donations and pledges from our Patreon group. But we are not sponsored by these companies. So don't don't be thinking we're rolling in the dough because we're still seven grand in the hole. <laughs> kiss my brain. Anyway, but don't kiss my pockets because they're they're empty. Anyway, um, don't and don't start on the Patreon this week. I'm because of the way Patreon <laughs> bills. Just wait until the first if you want to join us. There's my word to the wise. They um, they will start billing the people for June at the 1st of July. So just wait. That's how they work. Um, so anyway, we do have some wonderful July spin sponsors. I'm excited to work with them. Cherry on top will be joining us, giving us a $25 gift certificate each week in July for those who have, um, those who have sent in a card may win that. Um, and then Trinity Stamps, I'm excited to say, will be joining us in July also as a spin sponsor. Um, details? I don't have any yet because this is all a new thing. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, wait, wait, wait oh, oh. Anyway, I'm making spreadsheets so you know it's serious, okay? It's just serious. Um, yeah, I have several spreadsheets going on this one, so I'm excited about it. Um, 
Make sure you send in a card every week, though, so that you have a chance to win one of those gift certificates. Mail call. Let's go down to Paper Cam. Oh, did I forget to turn on my light? Sure enough. My gosh, it's dark. Oh, there. Let there be light. And there was light. Okay, I went out to the mailbox today. <laughs> I hit a good time, too, because I, there was nobody in line. It was super fantabulous. Ugh. Patty Beck. <laughs> this was a card that Patty Beck's made for Craft Roulette, the one with water. And um, it. we have kind of a tradition about robots and purse cards and things like that. So this was just such a hoot. When I opened up, or when I saw this online, I really honestly laughed out loud. It was an LOL kind of thing, but I thought this was super fun. Really great to get it. Um, from you, Miss Patty. I, I will cherish it. I really will. Until his until his little bolts are rusty, I will cherish this. And that's going to be a long time because he's paper. <laughs> Nicely done. So fun. Let me just set this off here. This is a beautiful card from Mary Jackson in Lincoln, Nebraska. Isn't that pretty? She used some um, ribbons, uh, I believe, for the water make it feel like there was water and this does feel like water there's a lot of movement involved and she used some gold pen to write summertime and that's kind of a cool technique to do isn't it be bold enough to write and she also layered it so she's got a layer underneath it popped up with some foam tape this is just really pretty Miss Mary, thank you so much. I, I do like this cluster of ribbons. I must remember. I must remember to use that. A firefly visiting across a wet lawn. There's the firefly. Very, very clever. I really appreciate that. That was a, quite a nice surprise to find in my mailbox today. You just got a robot stencil? That a girl. I got this from my friend at Trading Post, Kansas. Look how pretty this is. This is from Aline. And she did a beautiful shutter card. These are not hard. They're just as long as you know the tricks. She always includes some confetti. Let me put that back in there. But see how the, it just, oops, it's got a little bit of a bump to get over there. There it goes. It shuts up all by itself. Ooh, isn't that pretty? She sent it to Mr. Gunn and me, so that was extra extra special. And um, Mr. Gunn said, man, she's good. She must be watching Fun University. I said, no, she really doesn't. She didn't learn this from me either. She's really good. She just makes beautiful cards. I was excited to get this one. This one is, you may recognize that sticker. Crafty day. That means it's crafty L. And it's just a note. She made this during the pat all patron call, she said, and um, just thanked me for the all patron Zoom meeting, that it was so much fun to get to know many of the names that she sees on Fridays. So I thought that was really sweet. She signs it, Alicia. I, I know her. I only call her Crafty Al. <laughs> anyway, this was super cute. She did a great job of making this very special. And it's just adorable. We love the gnomes, don't we? We like the gnomes doing all the things. <laughs> I think it's just so cute. And she also popped it up. I did a super glue guy one time with a pen. And they were writing a note from the back. You could see them from the back. It was really fun. I should pull that one out. Anyway. Darling, darling card, Crafty Al, you are a friend of Craft Roulette and mine. Got a certificate of appreciation proudly presented to Mary Gunn of Craft Roulette from Toby Clayton, sometime, a.k.a. Biddy Penny. From the Uvalde Chamber of Commerce. Isn't that something? So she just wrote and thanked me for my card donation for um, the wonderful card drive that she was doing for Uvalde. And she said, many of our Cheddarbox friends showed up, and that warms her heart. So thank you guys for warming Biddy Penny's heart. She did, my gosh, she got a lot of those. <laughs> she got so thousands and thousands of cards. It's just remarkable. But thank you for making us, for representing us 
at uh, Craft Roulette with your beautiful cards. Very, very cool. Okay, I've got an achievement board shout out to do, so let's go back to the old mug. Um, we did have three new first 8,000, that's a lot of cards. Um, first time viewers for, now this is episode 117, this isn't 118, because 118 isn't all the way in yet because our patrons have until Thursday night at midnight to send in their cards. Um, first time contributors were Gwen S., Sue Harris, and Abby W. Thank you guys for joining us. It really makes, we love a new person, don't we guys? <laughs> it's not that we're going to pounce on you or try to sell you anything or anything like that. We just really appreciate seeing new styles and new ideas and it's really nice to have you with us. Um, we have our zero heroes to shout out. Zero hero means that you have sent in enough card to have a z cards to have a zero in your ones place. Um, our tenth, our first zero hero milestone is ten cards, and Carmen Breksma and Cecilia Alin from Sweden. I don't know how you say your name, but um, you got it to ten, and that's really cool. That's a hard. That's a hard one. And then you start going, wow, I made it to 10. I can do 20. <laughs> oh, I can do 30. And then pretty soon you're up there with 112 like Patty Beck. Holy moly. Or me. Uh, how, well, 118 at this point. So I always think Patty Beck's going to catch me. We have 120 zero hero. And that was Anaya Sarzi. Well done, young lady. Number We have... Thir nope, just one 30 milestone to celebrate, and that's Anna Moreno. Well done. 40 m zero hero milestone achievements by Laura Ellis in England, who still has that little tiny baby. How are you doing that? I just don't know. I know you had trouble getting your card in this week, but um, he's awfully cute, that little Lawson, and he's not going to stay little very long. And Rosie B., who just got her card in today, I noticed. So she's well on her way to 50. Yes. <laughs> we had a um, big 50 milestones. Zero Heroes. Grandma Gay said it was the big 50, so that's why I said it that way. But big 50 for Grandma Gay, Karen C. Well done, you guys. Big 60 for Anna York and Lynn Sprengel. You guys are remarkable. Do you realize how many cards that is? How many weeks you've shown up and found out what the parameters are and sent a card in? <sighs> it blows this old girl's mind. It's pretty awesome. Yep. Nice job to the Zero Heroes. That's right. Oh, I did say it okay. Thanks, Christina. Oh, thanks, Cecilia. Um, then we have our leading ladies, and I'll just, you know who they are. Leading lady number one, Patty Beck, with 112 consecutive contributions since episode number five and we started with one so she's amazing um card monkey jarvis sometimes known as ellen has sent in 95 consecutive cards and hers are just remarkable if you haven't if, if you are a patron you can go to contributor something i never can remember it and sign in as a patron and you can put your, their name in and then all of their cards will come up it's very cool 5K Lamone has sent in 84. I'm not sure if that's consecutive. Kathy Herring has sent in 82. Kathy, that's amazing. I've never even talked to you. This is just something very special to me. Jackie Muller from Australia and Smurf, who is not blue, both have sent in 78. Just remarkable numbers and um, really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, setting that that bar kind of high. <laughs> I like it. Club 52 member. We have a new uh, Club 52 member from Australia named Anne Shackles. And she does a beautiful, beautiful job. Um, she often posts on Instagram. So if you are looking for some people to follow on Instagram, you know, if you haven't ever gone over to Instagram from Facebook, it, you can see all the cards so much better than um, on, in, on Facebook because they kind of get lost. So you may want to, I don't know, but um, contribute, thank you, Stephen, contribution explorer. I don't know why I can't ever get that one through my nog. Probably, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, they are consecutive. Okay, 5K. I, I will try to remember that. Um, anyway, you guys, lots of kisses on your noggins. It's just, a, I didn't add them all up, but it is pretty remarkable. So we have 129 submissions at this point for 100 episode 118. 
I've pulled out a few ideas. Not that I wish I don't know how to get them on the screen, but um, I go to craftroulette.live and you can look these guys up. We had the four parameters of hmm, what were they? Oh, an A2 size card. We had the colors of pink plus three plus our craft roulette neutrals. Element was bugs or insects, and random was metallic or foil. You guys did super. Uh, I love. I've been looking through the gallery a couple times, and I I'm quite amazed. Uh, A2 oftentimes is a very go-to easy card, but I wanted to mention there's a couple that stood out in that Gabby Pemberton did a spinner card where she has a little place that turns. Um, there was a rocker card by Jen G, and Jean Addis did a bow card. So those really stuck out. I don't, there's nothing wrong with a simple card. That's absolutely true. I We're going to make simple purse cards tonight. I'm a simple card person. I don't do very fancy things because I don't fold straight. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. And um, so, I but those just did stand out, and I thought, wow, that's I just worth saying something to you guys and saying, well done. Colors, there were bright pinks, there were dark pinks, um, there were some that ba pink barely got in there, that's fine. Then there are some that are very pink, and then there are some with contra or complements, and some with analogous colors, and split complements, and you took it all over the place. So, well done. I, I thought three, we'd had neutral plus one, neutral plus two, two weeks before, and I thought, wow, that with three, they're going to go wacko. <laughs> they're going to feel like they've got... Freedom galore! and I, But you did well. You didn't go crazy. So <laughs> you did very, very nicely. So go enjoy. You know, honestly, when you go to the gallery, it is so hard, at least for this old codger, um, it is so hard for me to remember what I'm looking for that uh, sometimes I will suggest just putting a little card in front of your computer screen that says what you're looking for, like color. And then you can go through the gallery and see all the different color combinations. It's a great time to go, oh, I like that color combination. I'm going to make a note. Um, or the way they used an A2 or a fancy fold or something like that. It's all there, and you can use it. Element. Element. I've got a card tonight for you. It's a light-up card using bugs. It's a little bonus card for you. Um, bugs and insects. Man, we got the grunge from Monica Taylor and Desiree Coomerly, our guest crafters. They were they brought their style. It was very cool. There's a lot of die punches or die cuts like Christina Brome. Um, some cover plates with bugs in it. Lots of butterflies. Real pretty, pretty cards. Um, Berta for, used a ton cover plate that with a butterfly that was really sensational. Um, there were lots of stamps like ladybugs. Smurf did a whole little bunch of, like a swarm of ladybugs. It was so cute. All different colors of red and pink. Um, lots of dragonflies. Um, another ladybug, there were some punches. I think it's a Stampin' Up! punch that a lot of people were using for their ladybugs, including Sis Flanagan. So that was cool. There were gnome bugs. Oh, you silly people. Little Deanna Roca R Rockford, you silly girl. There were flies flying around a hot cauldron. Oh, my goodness. Vicki Galagos, I almost got scared. I thought I was watching Macbeth. Um, there were fairy bugs. Mary Moisen has a process video. So does Sire Anderson. He has a process video this week. Um, there was a bug on a necklace. Janet Sidaway, you clever little girl. Um, bugs Bunny. A moment for Bugs Bunny. All right. What's up, Doc? Very, very clever. Tammy w Williams. Very clever. Didn't see that one coming at all. Uh, lots of pretty florals, kitties, overall great, beautiful cards. And then there was Vicky Ruda. Do we know what Vicky Ruda did to this? Do we know what Vicky Ruda did to these parameters? <laughs> snot! She did a snot card like you caught a bug. <laughs> And, uh, it's hilarious. I I thought I I loved it. I I think it's from working in an elementary school for for a while. You know, you kind of get into booger jokes and stuff like that. By the way, do you know the difference between broccoli and a booger? <laughs> 
Little boys won't eat broccoli. Okay, that's it. Random was metallic or foil. I really liked how you used those. The dragonflies in particular were very, very pretty when they were cut, die cut in foil paper. I didn't really see that much because I was so engrossed with the bugs. But well, well done. Um, let's get on to these paper, this desk here, my messy, messy desk. You loved her snot card? I did too. I thought it was just great. <laughs> it was very, very fun. Oh, it was worth having bugs, wasn't it? You wanted to use ants? I used ants. Here is my card. This was my card that I did. And I did put a little acetate on top of there just for um, to make it look like glass. Looks like there's some ant dew underneath there. But it, it turned out okay. Um, and then inside I put... A little a little ant too I did color it in and so I had to recolor it with white pen to get his face back on but he doesn't care he's completely cool with it um, I did and I made some little shiny limes to add I they didn't look good on here so yep yep I liked it it was fun so my those were my four colors and all those things it was good and a simple a2 but I made it a z fold so yeah, yeah. All right, you ready to see this kind of... Let's look at these. We'll go through this one really fast because we've done these, but here are some of the lights from Pear Blossom Press. Again, I cannot thank Amanda enough for being more gracious or helpful. This is this is a, my first one, my very, very first one. It was so cool. Um, I learned a lot from it, and I would change it, but it's my watermelon trailer. Yeah. <laughs> or camper or caravan whichever you like this was a craft roulette card I think Monica was on that night and so it turned into a my fair lady card it was the gin that done her in another light this is the one we did last week on fun university it has a little acetate on top of that so it feels like a window Here's one. I don't remember where it came from. Come on, darling. I had trouble. There he goes. And he, his eyes get so excited. I did see a video by Cassie Trask today, and she, did, she didn't do like holes. She made it really simple and just poked a hole in a Christmas tree light, and it really shined well with the three light bulb thing. It was great. And then, of course, we always have to have a robot. And this was with the three lights. And it's supposed to look like craft roulette. <laughs> By the way, if there is there are some campers going that went out in the mail today. If you are a club fun member, be watching for it. It's uh, most likely coming your way. All right, so I have this one almost ready. He is stuck on here. This is called a halo light. And it has all these lights that cut, that show up. And I put it here and I made a little mark so I know where to put it. This is just a piece of pattern paper. And I cut the I cut the lantern out by myself. All by myself. And I did put his eye back on trees. It doesn't match. <laughs> but it's back on. And then I have some acetate on the back of this also. And some, uh, really, I need to release that. And then we will have, I've got this ready. i got to find out where to put it. There we go. Ooh, let's turn off the light. And shake the camera. And now we just need to have some bugs. Since I wasn't quite done with the bugs, so I brought them. I thought, well, we'll just make this card. I'll have it almost ready. You do have to use some pretty tall foam tape. And this is by Heffy Doodle, and um, apparently it's a little tall. <laughs> apparently it's a little easier or a little taller than some. However, I'm still remedial at taking the release off. You don't want to put it where you're going to have this little doohingus, so I drew the lines right here so that I can avoid that. I could have had this started. Now that would have been like pro stuff. That would have been like really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that. 
I'm, I'm okay. Oh, now I'm stuck. We do okay on craft roulette. Usually there's no train wreck. It's uh, We wait until we're in fun university to have the issues. There is a Natasha foot way to do this. <laughs> if you don't follow Natasha, she's brilliant. And I highly suggest it. And you'll learn how to speak New Zealand. But um, she would take, just start these and then have little tabs sticking out and then get it situated and then pull the tabs off. But that's, again, takes some preparation that I wasn't, that I didn't do. So I, but I did tape that little bug on the inside. Amanda does have some cool other products too that you don't want to miss. I'm <laughs> They're really cool. Um, Monica Taylor was talking about how cool the sentiment paper is for black. Oh, gosh, darn it. Um, for black, let's see. Let's just put this down here, This, and we'll pretend that this is going to go real easily. And it did. <sighs> oh, that was beautiful. We'll stick that down. I just did a little that thing going on there. Okay, I'm going to pull this down so I can be over it a little bit. Rather center it. See if I can get this lowering it down. Did I get it? Well, did I do it backwards? Well, dang and shebang. I did. I did it backwards. See, there you go. We do fine on craft roulette. It's not... I did it backwards. I left the hole on the wrong side. <laughs> you know, at this point in my life, if I'm not laughing at myself, I am going to just cry all the time and never show up for work. Okay, stinko face. Miss Mary, you big goon. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're good now. Did I really do that? I thought I was so smart. That's what I get. I get hum humbled. I don't mind. One time there was a tree. This happens to me quite regularly. Whenever I think I'm doing well. There was a tree in my neighbor's yard and it had a bunch of dead in it. Because we have big old trees around here. And I thought, and I was sitting there talking to my mom and I said, you know, they've got some dead in that tree. They need to maybe fix that up. Um, I put some in there, it says, and I had a sorry somewhere. <laughs> And um, I said, they need to fix that. And then I thought, oh, that's, that's not very nice of me to talk like that about my neighbors. And then I looked in my front yard, and I had a whole tree dead. So they had just a little bit of dead, and I had a whole tree dead. Uh, so anyway, it says, sorry to bug you. And I think I want him to come down here, and he can come up here. So that's my that's my card and I'm sticking to it. I'm not sure how we're putting these guys. These were um these were fun to make. They were just hand drawn. Hate to brag, or something else will happen. <laughs> this has popped up on some scrap paper. Now, doesn't this, though, make you feel like you, too, could do this? <laughs> There's nothing. There's room for all of us on on the Internet. Right? Oh, there goes the lid. Okay. So there's my little lantern. There's my little push button. Lots. Of, oh, should we turn off the light? Here we go. Oh, it's just so nice and dark, and the bugs are swarming. The, the um, lamp... There's one even inside, and then it says, sorry to bug you. <laughs> so there you go. I, I thought it was great fun. And Amanda, thank you for bringing that product to life. It's very, very cool. Now we're going to get to those purse cards. Are you ready? Oh, oh your doggies needs that, though. This is one purse card one. What is a purse? 
A purse is something that holds stuff, right? So it often has a handle, doesn't always, sometimes it's a clutch. And this one opens like so. It's got a little bit of a slider there to hide that. And then that just holds it. And then that would fit into a, this would fit into an A2 size envelope. Um, nothing, nothing too hard about that. But see, it has this little angle and it has a flap and it makes it feel like a purse. It obviously is not a purse, but uh, it makes a feel a bit like a purse. And then it has a happy birthday. So you could put a gift card in there easily. Um, you could write a note. You can send a picture. You can make all sorts of things happen with a card like this. Now, so what is it? It is an 11 by 4 and a quarter piece of cardstock. And you fold it four and a quarter. And then fold the flap over at eight and a half. And then don't cut, just make it rectangular first. So let's do that. I have a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter, isn't it? I'm not, I'm kind of nervous now. By 11, I believe. Yep, let me show you how I made it. All right, since I don't want to get out my scoreboard, I'm going to put one end at four and a quarter and fold it down. And then we'll just bring that guy over the top. These could be faux leather if you wanted a dude card. Um, you could these can be for little kids these could be for fun these could have tea in them it's just about anything you want okie doke now to make it so that it has a smaller top and a big bottom <laughs> we're gonna put it the bottom on the edge of the slicer there we go and we'll bring this in about a half an inch ish and cut it off then we'll bring this piece over to the other side. Get that pencil that was hiding. A little mark right there. Put the bottom piece on the edge and bring this little mark where the guillotine will land, basically. And there you have a little purse shape. Then I, I liked making, you could make it like this. Um, you don't have, to, you can make it an up, open top. But you can also take a protractor, a dish, a bowl, whatever you have. And give it a curve. You can also have some foam tape left from your being goofy. Nice long strokes. There you go. And there you've got the little thing already. It's really, really fun. <laughs> now, how do you get this little, this little thing, this little slider deal? Let me show you. I'll take one of these scraps because they are here. We can just put that right about here. Hold down those raw edges. It's not cut evenly. You can always tell. <laughs> hey, Patty Beck. Thank you for the card. But I will be able to put the robot card in with all of my other silly robot cards. And then that's going to go right here so you can slide something into it. Have a moment to get used to its new family. These could be other things also. It doesn't have to be matching paper. You can do anything. Then we've got a little tooth or a piece of rectangle or whichever you want. And we're going to put that right in there. Add a little bit of glue. 
and then that can just become your tooth. <laughs> that looks like a tooth. Blimey. Um, that can be your tooth for your closure. You don't have to have it as a tooth. You can file that tooth. Or just cut it off. This one I added the happy on top of the little this little piece. So then you not only have um, this little piece going down in there, you also have something to pop up over it just a little bit, which is kind of a good thing. Then as far as this goes, ribbon. Ribbon, twine, whatever you have. I prefer to have it on the back. You can have it go all the way through, but then it doesn't open very well. So um, you could have it on the front. Let's try it on the front. Just, nah, I don't like it on the front. Never mind. <laughs> I just didn't mean that. So let's just punch a couple of holes in the back. You'd want some um, pretty stout. This is not all that stout. This is from my boyfriend Michael's house. And, uh, you, but you could have something a little more stout and you'd have a nicer card. You can also cut this out of something that's nice and strong and then just decorate it. Options, options, options. So many. This is a great time to get out your washi tape that hasn't been used in a long time. This ribbon is, hmm, I estimate its age as about, hmm, 15 years, probably. That's pretty old, isn't it? Okay, you can make the knot go on the outside, too. Options, options, options. I think I will because of that. You might want to, if you have the knot on the inside, you can always use eyelets too. But you might want to cut this little piece down. And you could do it with this too, you know. And then you'd have cutouts for this piece. So let's do that. Hey, Fergie. Here we go, like so. And that would be a really cute little, you know, think of all the paper that you have that um, makes you think of somebody. Um, things that you have that are th themes, camping, boys, girls, under the stars, sports, um, food, all those kind of things you can make into little purses like this. Craft cardstock would be really cute. Yeah, it would give a nice half. Make sure that you go with the grain so that it folds nicely. But you can put a big circle there. That would be pretty here. Just a big circle with a sentiment. Hmm. I don't seem to have one right here, but you could do that. And then, so that's really an easy, easy way to make a four and a quarter by four and a half. So it would definitely be an A2 size card. You can also flip that up and make it more of a upside down card, <laughs> more like this. And you can also make it uh, fold just open like that. Um, another thing that you can do on this is make a book binding card. Let's show you what to do on that so that you have a book binding technique. So we'll just put this right here. And then we'll glue that down, and then this is actually a book binding purse card. Oh, we're getting so fancy. And it also has a pocket. So you have a book binding purse card with a pocket, a tote purse. I was actually, Bitty Penny, I was looking for some mm, bamboo woven looking stuff, and I couldn't find it. So I thought I had some, but I didn't have it. So anyway. And you can, you can always make this sealed up farther, too, and just have part of it open. 
but you can stick little things in there. It's so fun. And then these are just paper. I wouldn't put, I think, I wouldn't be able to put the one on the back on this one because I'm not that good. But you can also put little um, buckles. You could make them um, look like jeans. Uh, do you remember when we all carried jean purses? <laughs> it was very cool. But it's also, you just do the, you can decide whatever size you want. This is 11 inches, so you could make it, I don't want to make it that big. But you can decide based on whatever envelope or cause you have, decide how, to, how big to make it. So this is four and a quarter by four and three fourths at this point, and then we're just going to cut the edges just like I did on the other. Except I don't think I want that skinny of bottom. Get that straight side. Where's the straight side? There it is. Oopsie! No, 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 no. Were you screaming at me? I heard you. I had it backwards. I was going to make it cattywampus, but not I? Better slow down, Mary. Remember the tree in your front yard. Never forget the tree in your front yard. You can put a little notch in there, too. I don't have my notcher. And then you could also put several pockets if you wanted to. That would be fun, too. <sighs> Moon's the limit. I'm going to mark mine on this side so that my plaids match because I used, I took sewing. And while I never got to be a very good seamstress, I did learn a few things. But think how fun this would be if, if you got um, some faux leather or even a metallic, you could make a clutch for an evening bag, and you could emboss it. Oh, wouldn't that just be stunning? So very, very lovely. And there you have a, just a little pocket that you can add on there. Just like so. See, purse cards are not scary, are they? Did you think they were gonna be so much scarier? You know, there's probably purse cards that are scary. This is craft roulette. We we don't like scaring people. <laughs> it's just how it is. You haven't heard about my... It was a... What, look at your own problems in your own yard, Mary Gunn, lesson. <laughs> Less kind of story, Patty Beck. So, there you go. So, that's all there is to it. And you could make it a... You can make that also a book binding card by just gluing down this this part. See, it's it just all builds on each other, doesn't it? But if you do that on this, you're not going to have much of a pocket. Just FYI. I've got one more card to show you. Okay. If you didn't want to make a shaped purse card, you don't have to. You can also just put a purse-shaped card on a card. This, however, is not one of those. This is not only a little purse, but it opens up. This is taken a... So if you have your 6 by 6 paper pads, this is yours. This is for you. Um, a 6 by 2 and a fourth, and fold it at 2 and a fourth, and basically 4 and a half, but it's whatever folds over. So you... Turn it or uh, fold it at two and a fourth, and then whatever folds over. And then it makes this darling little card. <laughs> Just darling little card. And then I ended up putting a little tiny um, accordion fold inside of it. Now, this little piece um, is just a scrap of cardstock. And so that I didn't have to see it on the inside because it didn't match. And, you know, we have to have some things match. Um, I just folded it un the edges under and glued them onto the front. And then just slide it right in there however you want it. A word to the wise on this. 
When you do have the flap, you would want to cut the flap just a little bit smaller than the edges so that it will fit in there better. And here's another tip. You ready? You ready? Ready? Okay. See, the thread, that's Sharpie. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about thread on something, everything. Then it just, I put the little ribbon. This is just some grow grain ribbon. And I left it off there so you could see how I so organically and so basically uh, glued it or taped it on. That's all I did. And then um, stamped the little sentiment. And there we go. And there you have one, two, three, yes, three purse cards ready for your disposal. And I did change some parameters today and I left purse cards on there. So there is a chance that you will be able to get purse cards. And wouldn't you be smart if you, if we got that and you said, oh, I went to Fun University. I know how to do these. So anyway, yes, they're similar to a matchbook card. You could make a matchbook card look like that. Absolutely, positively, I'm pretty sure. Well, I hope you got some good ideas. Remember, this is. <laughs> and I did put that on Crooked on purpose. <laughs> so, this is uh, Fun University 118, where we had great parameters, great guests. I just enjoyed Abby so much, that little giggle box. We had the chatterboxes in the giggle box. So um, it was just a lot of fun. Thank you so much for sending in your cards and to inspire us all. Sorry to have put the, to bug you. I think it turned out kind of cute. Um, yeah, I made these today. I think they're kind of pretty. They kind of have lace wings. I like them. I will tell you more about these bugs on fun, you or on uh, the patrons for fun supporters and up on Thursday when I get your lesson up from tonight and I'll give you all the details and more ideas on how to make these but that is enough for tonight let's say thank you to our patrons we are we do have 94 patrons which is just amazing and don't don't sign up until uh, Friday so okay because they they'll charge you They'll charge you twice, unless you just really want to. But seriously, you don't need to. So hopefully on July 1st, we'll get close to 100. And um, we'll see what Mr. Producer will do do to, I mean, for us then. Uh, thank you guys, each and every one of you. You are making a huge difference. I cannot believe how much this helps. It's just, um, it's really, really great. Had a great scrapbook game call on Saturday. Uh, and we're talking about rebranding that because we don't just play scrapbook games. Some of us just hang out. And some of us do their own scrapbooking thing. And some people do cards and it's a small group. So it's really a great way to hang out with a small group of us. It's really wonderful. We do it on the last Saturday of every month. So, if you want to step up to Club Fun, we also have its own little website and Facebook group, I tell you. But, it's good. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. All right, all right. I think that's it. Anything else from you guys? Going to bed? Okay, Cecilia. Sweet dreams of cards. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Bitty Penny. I showed your certificate. That was very kind. Thank you. You're very sweet. You are, dang it. All of you are so nice. I like it. I like our group. I'm going to kiss my brain. You do the same. Have a great week. We will see you Friday for Travis and Sandy Boone. Travis, is, I don't tell him that I know, but I think he may be a little nervous. So come, come with your kindness, your kindness shirts on and your stretchy pants, and we will make give Travis... A craft roulette warm welcome like he's never had. All right, let's do this. See you Friday. All right. Yep. Love to all. Bye-bye.